at Dick Rochford here in board uh, 350 Julia Julia. We're en route from Guayaquil, Ecuador, to Panama City, Panama. And uh, we're just chatting there. Uh, uh, Co-captain has uh, copied down the uh, Colombian Border Patrol's number, uh, the, uh, the permit number, so we're ready for that when we're asked. But I wanted to talk with you about uh, setting up for cruise. Uh, you have to know that the aircraft is uh, really uh, sluggish in the climb all the way to 250, in this case 240. Uh, so we should probably be at 250. We're assigned 240 in any case. Uh, but uh, once we arrive there, the objective is to get set up for crews and then check that the fuel ring is properly displayed and properly calibrated. In this case, we have the dash ring set for a reserve of one hour, which is the NBA A number. And, uh, and we want to preserve that. We know from our briefing, weather briefing prior to leaving the ground, that this is about the worst wind we're going to suffer. Uh, at least in terms of headwind, tailwind component. So I've got a little tailwind component there. Uh, PFD options can show different ways to display that. So we have option one showing a seven knot tailwind. We have option two, which is total wind, 23 knots out of the uh, west-southwest. And then option three is uh, tailwind, crosswind, components, which uh, pr pretty much the same as one. Having said that, uh, once we're confident we have the fuel for the mission and we're set up for cruise, we verify we can maintain a CHT at or below 400. Now, uh, 398 is better than 400, but I wouldn't go too crazy with this. I'm used to seeing 380 on the hottest cylinder. So, uh, newer engine might not be as well broken in yet. We have the alternate air open. And so, it, you know, we've had some opportunity for ice to sublimate. We went through a very thin layer. So what I'd like to try, with the co-captain's permission, uh, is to close this in an attempt to get more air through the engine and, and maybe uh, cool it down a little bit. Go ahead. Not a huge deal, but let's see if we can get this done without the engine sputtering or anything. So if there's any ice in there, it's, it's going to cause a stumble. But we dodged a bullet there. Usually my advice is once that's open, don't close it until you're back on the ground, which I think is sage advice because no matter how carefully we consider, there's no real way of knowing for sure whether there's any ice in that plenum behind the filter. Uh, which we have no camera, we have no temperature gauge, we have nothing. Uh, outside air temperature won't help because there is adiabatic coolant going on on the low pressure side of that filter, which is the inside. But now here we are, we had 400 a minute ago and now it's already down to 398, so I'm happy with that. Uh, our range ring is past our uh, uh, airport of arrival. Uh, we have the permit number for Colombia, and uh, I take it we got one for Panama as well. Uh, so really, we're all done. Uh, basically, what we're doing now is managing everything we got uh, to make sure that nothing changes. Uh, what we're learning. Uh, so I have not flown this aircraft with the owners since, uh, I think, uh, a few months. And we now see that uh, in this these high altitude level flights, we have a slightly elevated CHT. And uh, I just want to point that out. So we got 398 on number 5. 
and normally at seventy uh, percent power, twenty nine and a half, twenty four hundred, at twenty one and a half gallons, we would see three eighty on the CHT. Now that's a little more than normal differences from one airplane to the next. And while they're not all exactly 380, they're in that range. So what I'd like to suggest is, additionally on takeoff, we're getting only 40 inches of manifold pressure, which could mean, those two things combined, could mean that there's a, a minor manifold leak somewhere in the aircraft. So, not only have we got that on the squawk list, but I just encourage each owner pilot uh, to write down engine condition trend monitoring. This is a really simple thing to do. If you don't have the book, contact me, send me an email. I'll send you a copy of the book for free. Web address rwrpilot training, all one word, dot com. Email is mail, M-A-I-L, at rwrpilottraining.com. And with this book, you can write down uh, engine condition trend monitoring data. Uh, so each chance you get. Go ahead, November 350, Julia Juliet. 350 Juliet Juliet, please contact now, frequency 123.3, Panama Control, good day. 123.3, Panama Control, good day. Number 350 Juliet Juliet, thank you. Yes, so we're writing down uh, simple things, manifold pressure, prop speed, fuel flow, turbine inlet temperature, etc. Pressure altitude gets recorded, and that, of course, is the pressure when the altimeter is set 2992. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. <laughs>